Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I have a review video. The newest set of Magic the Gathering is Phyrexia All Will Be One. The storyline continues the dreaded Phyrexian onslaught. The Gatewatch and their fellow planeswalkers have taken the battle to New Phyrexia in an attempt to stop Elish Norn and her army from invading the multiverse. Phyrexia All Will Be One base set includes 271 cards, breaking out into 101 commons, 80 uncommons, 60 rares, 20 mythics, and 10 basic lands. Five of the basic lands feature Phyrexian Panorama Full Art, while the other five Full Art lands have been Phyrexianized. In addition to the base set, Phyrexia All Will Be One has a little over 200 cards featuring parallels of their regular cards. These cards numbered from 272 to 489 include black and white Icker Showcase cards, borderless Showcase Icker cards, Phyrexian Language Planeswalkers, borderless Manga cards, Oil Slick Raised Foil cards, Extended Art cards, Complete Foil cards, and other parallel promo cards. That is no easy task trying to keep track of the mind-numbing amount of parallels. There is one returning mechanic found in Phyrexia All Will Be One. A mechanic first featured in Scars of Mirrodin, Proliferate, appears on many cards in the set. When I cast Drown and Icker, first, I will give a target creature negative 4, negative 4 until end of turn. Then I can proliferate or choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each an additional counter of the same kind already on that permanent. Speaking of counters, poison counters make a full-fledged return to magic. Two new mechanics in Phyrexia All Will Be One are directly related to poison counters. Toxic reworks the original poisonous mechanic found in Future Sight. If Screv, Defector Might, deals combat damage to my opponent, they will receive one poison counter because Screv has Toxic 1. The amount of poison counters increases with the creature's Toxic count, like Tyranax, Rex's Toxic 4. Corrupted is a new mechanic that cares about how many poison counters a player has. If a player has three or more poison counters, they are corrupted. For instance, Bring the Ending becomes a very powerful counterspell with no conditions at common if my opponent is corrupted. Another new mechanic is called For Mirrodin with an exclamation point. This mechanic is similar to Living Weapon from Mirrodin Besieged. When these artifacts like Dragonwing Glider enter the battlefield, I create a 2-2 red rebel creature token attached to that equipment. A new type of counter is present in Phyrexia All Will Be One. Although oil counters don't have an ability attached to them, many cards such as Archfiend of the Dross have abilities based around the presence or absence of oil counters. Phyrexia All Will Be One features 10 returning planeswalkers. Five of the planeswalkers appear at rare and are working together to fight the Phyrexians, while the other five have been completed into Phyrexian planeswalkers. Kaido Dancing Shadow, Kaya Intangible Slayer, Koth Fire of Resistance, the Eternal Wanderer, and Tyvar Jubilant Brawler join with the Mirren Rebels to infiltrate the Phyrexian Stronghold. Jace the Perfected Mind, Luka Bound to Ruin, Nahiri the Unforgiving, Nyssa Ascended Animist, and Veraska Betrayal of Sting initially come to the aid of the Rebels, but become completed and join the Phyrexian forces. Phyrexia All Will Be One features a powerful cycle of monocolored legendary creatures at Mythic. The Dominus have a static ability related to their individual color as well as an activated ability that can be cast using an alternate cost. Phyrexia mana appears more frequently and outside of completed planeswalkers. Each Dominus can gain an indestructible counter by paying Phyrexian mana along with another activated cost. A monocolored cycle found in this set as the Sun's Twilights harkens back to the Sun's Zenith, first printed in Mirrodin Besieged. These rare spells can provide an additional effect if the cost to cast them is 5 or greater. Finally, the allied colored Fastland cycle that debuted in Scars of Mirrodin makes its return in Phyrexia All Will Be One. These dual lands enter the battlefield tapped unless I control two or fewer lands, potentially giving me a fast start to play creatures or spells. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the contents of the bundle. Elish Norn is featured on the front. Now with eight set boosters. I wished it was 10 set boosters or heck, even 10 draft boosters. The back gives a description of what I'll find inside. 20 traditional foil and 20 regular basic lands an oversized spin-down life counter, an alt-art traditional foil Karl Monix, the Rat King, a Phyrexia All Will Be One card box, the eight set boosters, and two reference cards. Okay, digging into the inside of the bundle, have the card box, 
Phyrexia all will be one. Inside that, I have a few punch outs. Planeswalker symbol, Phyrexian symbol. I believe this is the indestructible token. So a little bit of Elish Norn's home in New Phyrexia. And I think this is the Necrogen Dross Pits where Shieldred hangs out. Oh good, they've gone away from the rice-like paper back to the foil that you can actually see through. So there's the bundle promo of Karamonix, the Rat King. And I believe the foil lands are behind him and then the regular lands. Where is the die? Oversized spin down die with the Phyrexia all will be one set symbol. Get a lucky seven. No, 16. Set booster packs. Three, six, eight. Huh, that's odd. No, how to play magic reference cards. Not that I'm complaining, those typically take up space anyway. And insert art that was inside the bundle. Completed Jace, the perfected mind. And on the back, the various levels of new Phyrexia. All my stuff back into the bundle box. As a reminder, I won't be cracking the packs today. Instead, I will crack the packs one at a time over the next eight videos. In the review video, I will do a comparison of the financial value and set collation between my bundle openings containing set boosters, starting with Innistrad Midnight Hunt, all the way up to Phyrexia All Will Be One. Will I get lucky and pull multiple Mythics out of this bundle? Can I make my money back? I certainly hope so, as the bundle cost me a little more than $40. Thanks, inflation. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this preview video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, when I'm back to crack the first set booster pack from my Magic the Gathering Phyrexia All Will Be One bundle. Thanks for watching.